Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make Mickey Mouse's Clubhouse. Here it is from all of the angles that you might want to view it from. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. If you do, please do remember to smack that like button. That would really, really help me out. Would it be possible to get a thousand likes? I don't know. You guys will have to find out whether we could get 1,000 likes on this video. It'd really, really help me out and I'd really appreciate it. And please do also let me know what other cartoon related builds you'd like to see in the future by leaving a comment down below. But without any further ado, why don't I actually show you how to make this thing? It's actually surprisingly simple. So if you want to make it, Here's what you'll need. Grab yourself some black wool, some red wool, some yellow wool, some cyan wool, some blue stained glass block, some white wool, some light grey wool, some red carpet, and some smooth sandstone. The smooth sandstone is actually kind of important, so I, I wouldn't use any other. By the way, you will also be needing every single other material that we have in the inventory, and possibly even more. So you might want to pause the video, make sure that you have everything that you need, and hit play once you've got it. So, Mickey Mouse's Clubhouse is going to be made inside of a 53, that's 53 blocks coming across the front, by a 45 block area on the ground. This area also has rounded edges, as you can see. If you like, you can simply just make the clubhouse and then build this area around it. You don't have to start off with this. But if you do start off with this, what you're going to want to do is come down to the bottom right hand corner of where the actual light like, rectangular shape would connect. I would make this with rounded corners, but if you make just a big rectangular shape on the ground, then this is where the rectangular corner would be. You want to count inwards towards the back and you want to find at the 10th block in. So this would be the first. Second, third, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And this is the tenth block. And then you want to count into the left and you want to find the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth block in. This is where we're going to begin the build. This is actually going to be Mickey's foot. So start off by placing a row of six yellow wool coming up from the ground. One, two, three, four, five, six. Take that sixth block and do two upright diagonals from it. One, two. Go right by two. One, two. Do two bottom right diagonals. One, two. Connect all the way down to the ground, like this. Then fill in this part of the shoe. So we want to fill this foot in with yellow wool. Later on, we're actually going to be placing an entrance here. It's going to be right in the very bottom center part of the shoe. And it's actually going to have kind of like a white wool outline that will look kind of like this. And there'll also be a door there. And as a matter of fact, there will also be a bit of red carpet there. The red carpet's actually going to sit right in front of the door. And then one block either side of the row of three that you've made. And it's also going to extend out by one row. And then you want to extend the three middle blocks outwards towards you by one row to give you this sort of shape. And as I said, it's also going to have a door. If you'd like to put on like an oak wood door or something like that, then feel free to. But it's really not that necessary whatsoever. And if you replace the floor, you'll destroy the door in the process anyway. But that is the outer part of the shoe. What we now want to do is add an additional layer of yellow wool coming towards the left hand side of the build. So we want to take all of the end, all of the outline of yellow that we started off with and we want to add an additional layer of yellow inside of it, like this. What we then want to do, it's kind of tricky to explain this, but what we want to do is coming outwards from the bottom two corners of the inside of the shoe, so like this position, this position, you want to place a yellow wall, extend each yellow wall upwards by three, one, two, three, one, two, three, like that. Then you want to meet them in the middle diagonally, which means placing one diagonal, one diagonal, and then one in between, like this. Then you can actually just fill in the empty space left in between the larger part of the foot, like this. What we then want to do is, once again, very tricky to explain, kinda, uh, you want to take the bottom two inward corners and you want to place a yellow wall coming in from the corners, place one yellow wool on top, connect them together in the middle, like this. We then want to fill in the rest of the shoe to give us this sort of effect. It kind of reminds me of an iron. I, I don't know why, but that's what you're looking for. 
We then want to take each one of these five yellow blocks here, and we want to place a two rows of black wool coming inwards from these. So one row of black wool added on, and then two rows of black wool added on. That is Mickey's leg. We then want to add a red wool coming inwards from each one of the bottom black walls. We want to then take the upper red wool, so looking down like this, you want to take the upper red wool and you want to go up from this red wall by one, just one block. Then do two, actually three upper left diagonals, one, two, three. Then go left by four, one, two, three, four. Then do three bottom left diagonals, one, two, three. Down by four, one, two, three, four. Three bottom right diagonals, one, two, three. Then go right by four, one, two, three, four. Then do one, two, three upright diagonals to connect all the way back to where you very first started. We then want to take every single red wall that we have right here, and we want to add three rows of red on top. So that'll look like one, two, and three, and this wants to persist on top of every single other red wall. Except we will be adding windows in right after we've added all the red, but I figure it's actually probably easier to add all of the red on top, and then we'll add in the windows afterwards. I figured that that's probably an easier way uh, to do things. So we're just going to add all of this. And uh, it's a little bit tedious, but you know, what are you going to do? So we'll add all of that. Okay. Now, windows. On the front and back of Mickey, we have two windows. Uh, they look like this. So this is a big row of 5x4 or 4x5, however, whichever way around you want to say it, um, area of uh, red wall. We want to knock out these two blocks on the left. These two blocks on the right, they kind of look like like cute eyes. And we want to fill these two blocks in with our blue glass. Not only do we want to do that on the front, we want to take the equivalent blocks on the back and we want to do the same. So we want to knock out those four blocks, two on the left, two on the right, and fill them in with the glass. Those are the only windows. Uh, now, we want to take the top of the circular shape, which is Mickey's little plump body, and we want to add a layer of red wool above and inside of the circular shape that is Mickey's torso. So we basically want to do this. Uh, a little bit easier to kind of like see what I'm doing than explain what I'm doing, but uh, this is kind of like the shape that we want to end up with. Just a nice big circle on top of Mickey. We then want to do the same thing. So this next layer above and inside, uh, the difference being is that we now want to connect the red wall at the corners. Previously, we were only doing the outline. Now, we want to connect the red wall at the corners. Yes, it matters. It gives us a little bit of a different shape. Like this. Kind of looks like a nice big plush shape. Now, do the same thing once more. And once again, we want to connect at the corners. So we're going to fill in all of this shape. One block above, inside. Connect at the corners. It'll form an even tighter plush shape like this. Wonderful. And you can fill the top of this in with red wool, if you like. We then want to take the very top three center blocks, and we want to place... Actually, take the very top center block, the very one right in the middle. Place a black wool on top of it. Extend it upwards, downwards, leftwards, rightwards. <laughs> leftwards and rightwards, I don't even know if they're words, probably. So we have a nice big plus shape, right? We then want to take the very left-hand side of the plus shape, specifically the left, and we want to do three up left diagonals. One, two, three. All the black wall. We then want to go up by four. One, two, three, four. We then want to do two up right diagonals. One, two. Then go right by four. One, two, three, four. Do two bottom right diagonals. One, two. Down by four. One, two, three, and four. Then do two bottom left diagonals, one and two, and we have connected all the way back to where we very first started. Now, once you've done this, we can shape Mickey's head ever so slightly. So, what are we going to do here? Uh, first of all, we're going to add an additional layer of black wool to the outline. So coming towards us, we're going to add an additional layer of black wool, as I said, coming towards us. So we want to have something which should look like this. Uh, we also want to connect it down at the bottom, by the way. So like that. We then want to take this shape that we have right here and one row inwards and connecting the corners together, we want to place a layer of black wool popping out of the silhouette 
of the circle of Mickey's head. Now, it's it's the same procedure as what we did with the body, except with the head, and it's a little di bit more difficult to see as it's like the sun's blaring out as on its black wall, but you guys can see the deal. We then want to do the same thing one more time, except this time we're going to make our best effort to completely just fill in all of the empty space at the front. So this should provide us with a nice circular shape. That's the front of Mickey's head. The back is identical. So on the back, we will come all the way here and we'll first of all add an additional layer of black wool. And once we've added a layer of black wool, we will then add an additional layer of black wool. See, so we've added the first layer, right? Now we shrink it. So one row inwards, connecting the corners, we uh, shrink this and we end up with a nice circular shape inside our circle. A circle in a circle, he's the Russian doll of Disney. So we're going to add that. Then we're going to once again outwardly place a layer of black wool that quite simply covers up all of the empty space which we have for the head. So we just want to have something which should look like that. Easy enough. That is the shape of Mickey's head. Mickey, unfortunately for me, has ears. I wish he didn't. Uh, so coming all the way up to the top center part of his head, you're looking for the very middle row, right at the top of the head. This one. You want to take the left-hand block of the middle row, and from this block, you actually just want to place a black wall, like that. Then do two upper left diagonals from the black wall. One, and two. Go left by two. One, two. Do two bottom left diagonals. One, two. Down by two. One, two. Do two bottom right diagonals, one and two. Connect to the head by placing a black wall to the right. That is pretty much Mickey's ear. We want to do the same thing on the right. So on the right, come all the way up to the top center part of the head, center row. We take the very right hand block of the center row, place a black wall on top of it. Then we do two upright diagonals, one and two. Go right by two, one, two. Do two bottom right diagonals, one, two. Down by two, one, two. Two bottom left diagonals, one and two. Connect to the left to form two discs coming out of the top of Mickey's head. Now, if you like, I am noticing that these would probably actually look quite good flat. So you could just fill them in. However, we are going to shape them ever so slightly. The way that we're going to do this is the same way that we uh, did Mickey's head. Uh, we're going to one row inwards in relation to the actual black circle. We're going to add a layer of black wall that connects corner to corner like this. So we just want to end up with a nice circular shape, whoops, there we go, that should look like that. We then want to one row outwards. We want to have the same thing. We want to have kind of like a nice plus shape for the ear like this. If you find that looks weird, simply add corners to that to form a square and then you shouldn't find that uh, so repulsive. Now, do the same on the right-hand side. On the right-hand side, it's basically, once again, just a game of filling in all of the empty space that we have here. Um, <laughs> I can't place this black wall, but it's uh, it's the same thing. It's just basically creating the shape in which um, we're then going to fill in. We're going to do the plus shape, and I, I'm not actually liking the plus shape, to be honest, so I'm going to fill that in with black wool. It gives us something which should look like that. Um, it's a pretty decent, nice ear shape. Uh, we want to do the same thing on the back, of course, as well. So on the back, we'll do literally the same thing that we've done a few times already. And that will be most of Mickey's body. Now, we do have one last thing uh, in store for Mickey once we finish this. Now, Mickey, again, unfortunately for me, because it's kind of like a difficult part to tutorial, has a slide coming out of the back of his, I don't know, like, neck area. Um, we've got to do that, unfortunately. I, I wish we didn't, but he's got a slide, and it's kind of cool. It, it, it kind of, unfortunately, once again, that word um, adds a lot to the build, so I'm not going to ignore it. Uh, we have this cool blue slide that comes out. Um, you can even make it function as well. Um, I'll show you that later on, but... That is the back of Mickey's head, identical to the front, or it should be, uh, and that is the centerpiece of Mickey's clubhouse, almost complete. Now, let's talk about the slide. So, come all the way to the back of Mickey. I'm going to just adjust my plans here so I can actually see what I'm doing. So, on the back of Mickey, we want to start on top of this block that is in between the two windows. You guys can see the one. It's like 
the bottom middle part of Mickey. This block, right? Okay. Place a cyan wall on top of that. Go to the right of that by eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We then want to take this eighth block and we want to place a block coming outwards to the left in front of it diagonally. This position, it's easier to just place it. We then want to place, we then want to place two blocks in front of that block. One, two. We then want to extend this block down and we want to extend every single other block down um, that we've just placed. So where you can, place all, place a row of cyan wool coming down from every other block like this. We also want to place a row of cyan wool that sits upwards and inwards diagonally to the layer of cyan that we've just placed, like this. And here, you guys can see what I'm talking about. It's actually easier to see from up above. I don't know what I'm doing. Like that. We then want to give this little area a wall, and to do that, we want to come outwards. We want to do this with the cyan wall, right? We're, we're essentially creating a tunnel, yeah? And this tunnel wants to be two blocks down. So, like this. You want to be able to walk underneath it. So, you can see that we're cry kind of creating a nice curved tunnel coming out the side of Mickey. You guys can see that. We then want to place underneath this, so that we're not walking on thin air, a layer of cyan wool that comes underneath the tube that we've just made. Again, I'm sorry that this is kind of difficult to follow along. We then want to create a way in which this will step down. So we're going to take the end of the tube. We're going to extend down the bottom left hand and bottom right hand blocks. We're going to extend them towards us by one row. And then we're going to go down, outwards, down, and then actually we'll, we'll slope this a bit and then we'll take this last block that we placed that pl came outwards and we'll extend it outwards by an additional block. So it's kind of like coming outwards a little bit like that. And then we'll connect down to the ground diagonally. So it kind of slopes a little bit more. Uh, now we just have to create a bottom to the slide. Should be fairly easy to do like this. That's perfect. And in the ground also going to place a cyan. This wants to function, so we're just going to make sure it works. We're going to jump up into the slide, we're going to walk around, and we will hit Mickey. We're going to destroy this block and this block, and this will gain us access to the inside of Mickey. Uh, so then we'll be able to... It's, it's kind of up to you how you want to do this. Like, you can meld the inside to however you like, but uh, I would highly suggest making it so that you can actually access this slide. So if you want to, like, place a ladder there, and if you want to make it very obvious where the ladder is, then feel free to, and then you'll be able to climb up the ladder, and you'll be able to exit the build via the slide. It's kind of cool. I, that's one of my favorite parts of this build. I, I don't know why. Call me silly. Don't, actually. My name's not silly. Sally. So, what we now want to do is grab some smooth sandstone. That's not true, by the way. Uh, we want to, in the, with the smooth sandstone, we want to create a circular area around the slide. So, what we're going to do is, uh, I'll tell you what. We'll take the end of the slide, the very bottom center block, and we'll dig into the ground, and we'll dig a row of, let's say, four coming out of the bottom. One, two, three, four, like this. Uh, let's make it five for fun. Uh, we'll then place upright diagonals coming towards the center of the build. So, upright diagonals like this. Uh, we're then going to extend, actually, we'll, we'll take the fifth block, we'll go to the right, and then we'll do diagonals so that it's a bit more of a curve, like this. We'll then take the fifth block that we went to the right of, and we'll go to the left of it by, we'll do one again, and then we'll do three up left diagonals in the ground, one, two, three, and then we'll go backwards by four, one, two, three, four, and then we will begin to do diagonals coming backwards. Actually, we'll extend it. One, two. Then we'll do three diagonals. One, two, three. Then we'll come across by four. One, two, three, four. And then we'll connect diagonally. But it's a very rudimentary circle is basically what we're creating in the ground. It just wants to be a circular shape. We're then going to fill it in with sand. It's it's not a big deal how big uh, this area actually is. Um, if you want to make it bigger, make it bigger. If you want to make it a square, make it a square. It doesn't matter. Um, it's just to break up the... Oh, no, the slide. Uh, it's just to break up all of the grass or later on artificial grass that is present 
in the actual build and of course it is more true to the cartoon in that uh, there is sand at the bottom of this there's actually some more colors and stuff involved in the ground but uh, i've found you can add them if you want i've found that it's better to simply have sand than uh, start adding like purple or yellow i can't remember which the color actually is but there is spots in the sand i believe um that uh don't look good in the actual uh like in this version of uh, Mickey's uh, Playhouse Clubhouse. So that is what you want to have on the ground around the slide, a nice circular pattern. Uh, what we now want to do is we want to take out our... What do we want to do? No, okay. So that is the centerpiece of Mickey. Very cool looking. So left of the slide, we want to come all the way around to the back left-hand corner of the slide. We want to basically match ourselves with this back left-hand corner sandstone block, this chiseled sandstone. We want to, leaving a gap between this and what we're going to make, we want to leave like a gap of, say, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, something like that, about a gap of eight. We then, on this ninth block, we want to place a black wall. And we want to go backwards from that black wall by two. One, two. We then want to do an up left diagonal. Go left by two. One, two. Bottom left diagonal. Down two. Bottom right diagonal. Right two. So, we have made a circle on the ground. Looks good if you ask me. It doesn't have to specifically be in this position. It has to be around this position. On top of every single black wall block, add four additional black wall. One, two, three, four, so on and so forth until every single black wall has been added. So add all the black wall and it's just going to uh, raise up. Basically, this is Mickey's hand and from what I can tell, also simultaneously a hot air balloon. However, we're sticking with the hand. It's, I, I don't know why, the glove balloon freaks me out. So that is... Rick, Mickey's wrist. Uh, we now want to add a layer of white wool on top of the black wool, like this, creating kind of like a magic wand sort of look. We want to take the front row of free white wool, we want to add another layer of free on top, we then want to place a light grey wool on the left and right hand whites, and then an additional one on top. Add white wool on top of the grey, connect them between, fill the centre in, and then add a layer of free white wool on the left and right creating a circular shape we then want to do the same thing on the back on the back we'll add a layer of white then light gray on the left right add one on top white in between and on top as well we want to add a layer of white on the right and also simultaneously on the left we want to connect this glove together front to back so connect the glove together front to back like this just connecting the end blocks you don't have to connect all of them that'd be a real pain if you did this gives us a nice sort of hand shape once again unfortunately mickey has fingers so we now in line with where the light gray is we want to take the very center of the glove which is this row you guys will be able to see it in line with where the light gray is we want to add rows of one two three white one two three white like that that, <laughs> that looks like a rabbit. I, uh, guys, just indulge me here. I just want to I just wanna do this. <laughs> oh, that's an adorable rabbit. It actually looks like he's coming out of a magician's hat. Anyway, so what we now want to do is we want to take out our white wall. And we want to, once again, the middle rows, the very top right-hand side of the hand, we want to place white wall. And then we want to place two on top. One, two. Actually, make that three. Three. And then on the left, place one. Up by three. One, two, three. Those are Mickey's fingers. You can actually reinforce the fingers by adding an additional layer of white in front of and behind the actual fingers themselves. And it might actually make it look a little bit better. So let's add a layer of white behind as well. And it will make... Yeah, it, yeah, yeah, that's, that's just a tad bit better. I like that. So that is Mickey's hand. If you want to convert that into like a, a hot air balloon instead, feel free. I'm sure that you guys will manage to do that. So uh, it, sh it shouldn't be too hard. You basically just build it off of the ground. Anyway, once you've done that, it's now time for us to do another part that I've not been looking forward to. Goofy's shoe. So Goofy's shoe is roughly in line with the back of the slide. So 
Um, basically, we're going to take the very end of the slide here, yeah, so this block, and we want to, from this block, we want to leave a, a reasonably sized gap in the ground. So like a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Like a gap of 15 between the back of Mickey, where the slide is, and where we're going to be placing this shoe. So here is where we're going to be placing it. Once again, you don't have to be precise with this stuff. It's not a big deal. Uh, we then want to place a yellow wall on the ground on top of this block. We then want to go up by 2. 1, 2. Still looking at the ground. Do an upright diagonal. Right 2. 1, 2. Bottom right diagonal. Right 1. Upright diagonal. Right by 3. 1, 2, 3. Place a light grey wall going right. Then do a bottom right diagonal with the yellow. Come down by 2. 1, 2. Do a bottom left diagonal with the grey. Then go left by 4 with the yellow. 1, 2, 3, 4. Do an up left diagonal. Go left 1. Bottom left diagonal. Left 2. This is the base of Goofy's shoe. Looks great if you ask me. Place a blue stained glass on the very center right hand block, the yellow one, and the very center left hand yellow block. Those two positions. Then, on top of all of the yellow and all of the light gray, add two additional layers. So that'll be one, two, going all the way around. This is going to be Goofy Shoe. If you're at all familiar with the program, then you know more than me. But apparently, there's a shoe in which Goofy inhabits, lives inside of it, or something. And uh, that's roughly uh, right at the back of the slide-ish, give or take 15 paces. So we want to add, on top of all of the yellow and the light grey, we want to add two layers. Perfect. What do we want to do now? So, on the right-hand side of the shim, we want to connect the light grey together, front to back, diagonally. So, one row above, and inside the shoe, we want to add a layer of light grey. We want to do the same with all of the yellow at the, four, at the front of the shoe. So, like this. We then want to fill in the back of the shoe. The way that we're going to do this is we're going to place a layer of yellow wool in a square shape above and higher and inside of the square shape of the back part of the shoe. So, kind of like that. We're also going to place a yellow wall going right of the right center block, downwards from the bottom center block, left, up. So, like this. We then want to add another layer of square yellow wool on top of this, like that. And we want to fill the top of this in. Well, we're actually not going to fill it in with anything because uh, you are actually able to access the top of the shoe. So if you want, or you're supposed to be able to at the very least. So you might want to add like a series of ladders so that you'll be able to uh, actually walk from the shoe and enter. Plus, we have a hole in the shoe. We want to add a yellow wall there. We also are supposed to have an entrance. So we're going to use our oak, oak doors and quartz slabs and at the very back centre part of the shoe, the part that faces Mickey, uh, we want to knock out these two blocks, and we want to place a door here. And above the door, a layer of quartz slab, like that. Looks lovely. So, we're actually supposed to be able to walk in and inhabit it. It's actually kind of cool. Uh, we also want to come all the way up to the top here. We want to grab our never rods, or end rods. Now, if you don't have end rods, feel free to use birch wood fence. Same sort of thing. Grab yellow wool, and red wool. On the back left hand centre part of the shoe, here, we want to place an end rod, and then place another one on top. Then you want to place uh, a plus shape of red wool going all the way around the second end rod, like this. Perfect. We then want to place a yellow wool in between the square or in between the plus shape of red. We then want to extend the red wall outwards by an additional row like this. And also we want to place a layer on top of the original red walls, like that, like that. Then place the yellow wall popping out from the very top center part of the parasol, the umbrella. And that is Goofy Shoe. Looks fantastic if you ask me. I hope that you guys think the same thing. So there's a couple of things surrounding Goofy Shoe. Uh, to the right of the shoe, this way, we have a few bushes. So if you leave, say, like a gap of seven between the middle of Goofy's shoe on the right, where the window is, like, leave like a gap of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then you can place a spruce wood with three lime wool on top. One, two, three. 
then extend the center wall to the right and left that's one of the bushes uh it might be that we actually want to place nah it's fine well we we should have enough room uh in the ground we want to leave a gap of three place another spruce in the ground leave a gap of three place another spruce yeah we do have enough room so on top of the first spruce that we just placed we want to place a line wall go left of it on top of it to the right of that block up one perfect on top of this last spruce we want to go up by three one two three extend it to the left and right by one row like this also, there are supposed to be more trees and stuff and more bushes behind this. However, I found that you can't get the right shapes, so I, I just, I didn't. Those are perfectly fine. Also, in front of the space between the shoe and the bushes, there's supposed to be a nice little picnic table. This is made out of yellow wool, blue carpet, flower pots, poppies, or any flower you like. So in between the space, between the shoe and the bushes, you want to place it roughly about halfway between Mickey and the shoe. And we want to have a three by three square of yellow wool on the ground like this. That's perfectly great. We then want to place, coming out from the corners of the square, blue carpet. So coming out of the corners of the square blue carpet, and we're going to place flower pots on any two of the corners and we're going to place poppies inside of the flower pots just because it looks nice there's also a little farm as well out in front of roughly the entrance of the shoe we're going to have it roughly in line with where the uh, little picnic table is and for this we're going to need a hoe <laughs> seeds uh, green hardened clay oh and some iron bars as well so in the ground, we're going to figure out this area. It's going to be about six blocks long. So let's say about here. About, about here is where I'm going to place it. I'm going to place one, two, three, four. That would be five, six. I'm going to place green hardened clay inside that. Yeah, that's, that's not too bad. Uh, coming upwards from the sixth block, I'm going to come up by three. One, two, three. I'm going to place green clay. The space in between uh, the two points of the clay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna get uh, some grass out, and I'm also going to uh, get my hoe back out again. Uh, I'm going to rejuvenate the grass area, and I'm going to place uh, iron bars on top of the green. I'm also going to dig out a rectangular shaped space that sits inside of this, and I'm going to place seeds here. This is a little farm that Goofy is working on. That's all there is to it very very simple stuff and what i'm now going to do is i'm going to do i assume pluto's doghouse it's made out of cyan wall stone slabs and there's also a lot of fire hydrant unbeknownst I don't, I don't know why um which i would recommend grabbing i don't have this uh red hardened clay and a button for completely forgot about this uh so somewhere to the right of the uh farm probably about in between the hand and the farm maybe moving a little bit towards this way we're going to have pluto's little doghouse it's going to be a row of cyan wall three cyan wall one two three we're going to extend the left hand and right hand blocks forwards each by two one two one two we're going to add a layer of stone slab on top of the left hand side right hand side like this we're also going to connect the back together and we're going to have a strip of stone slabs that sits above this and we're also going to have a layer of stone on the left and on the right as well also we're going to have somewhere around here red hard and clay button in front that's supposed to be a little fire hydrant it's not really that important that everything is precise here as a matter of fact it looks better if it isn't if i do remember correctly and i might not be uh there is a like a a little bit of sand around like pluto and the fire hydrant and i don't think it's like a nice solid shape i think it's actually a little bit um a little bit uh like i what am i saying like it's it's not like a big perfect circle it's kind of like an irregular shape so i'm just going to uh, add a layer of sand around and inside uh, pluto's little doghouse you don't have to add this as a matter of fact it might not even be factually correct i just think that it might look a little bit better honestly because uh, there is quite a lot of artificial grass used in this build i don't I, i'm sure that the that the ground is not the same here i'm almost positive 
Um, I, I guarantee I've got this wrong, but you know what? We're doing it anyway. Uh, it'll look nice, regardless. So, we're just going to fill this in with the chiseled sandstone. And I'm going to offer you one thing that you could add that I actually haven't in the original video. In that, uh, in the original video, in the original version of this, um, you know Mickey's hands? Uh, you have to be able to access it because I guess they walk inside there and there's a hot air balloon involved You have to be able to get to it. Well uh, There's a door. It's actually a red door and there's a bit of a platform to get up there I, ha I didn't do it on the original version. That looks okay to me. That looks all right um, So on the back of this you might find you want to add a big red door whether that be made out of red wool or whatever. A big red door out the back of this. Um, it'd actually look a little something like this. Maybe something like circular um, in nature like this. So you'll be able to enter and leave. Put a door on there. Um, and uh, the stairs are actually very, very colourful. Maybe like a red, um, a red sandstone slab. Something like that. That's if you want to be able to ac actually access the arm. And then... Like, again, it kind of depends what you want to do with this. If you actually want to have, like, a secret room or something, then that'd be kind of cool. But, up to you. That is most of uh, Mickey Mouse's Clubhouse looking pretty good. However, there are some things that we could do that will make it look even better. There's a tree to the left, uh, which is kind of mandatory. I don't know why I like trees. Um, but coming out of the back left-hand corner of Mickey's hand, we're going to place an oak wood sapling, or an oak sapling, here, staying clear of the hand, and we're going to grow it, and that's going to be a little tree that is present on the actual, like, that is supposed to be there. We actually can't see it because it's kind of small, but still. Also, there's a bit of a broken path between, like, the center of where you'd like walk in, which would be here. There's a bit of a broken path, so we're going to dig some space into the ground here, and we're going to knock into the ground, and we're going to create a nice cyan clay pathway leading from the very front center part of the build, leading all the way over to the right. So those are basically just stones like that, except they're cyan clay, because I think it looks a bit nicer. Next thing we have to do, very boring, very tedious, completely necessary, is we're going to add, on top of the outline, we're going to round it, if it's not rounded, and we're going to place yellow hardened clay on top of the outline. Uh, it's, it's basically a nice big border for the clubhouse. It's just a nice big giant border. And just because I do think it looks better, I've, you, you can see for yourself whether you like it, but I'm going to dig out every single grass of the area. I'm going to dig it all out and I'm going to replace it with lime hardened clay. I think that it looks a bit better. Another option, if you like, I it look very, very bright, is lime wool. Would also look probably good. Probably. I can't guarantee that. It might look too bright. But lime hardened clay will do the trick because it's a little bit artificial. So we now have a border. It's looking quite good. We're going to knock out about five blocks from the front center so you can actually enter the area and we're going to destroy every single block here and we're going to destroy every single grass block just the grass and we're going to place lime hardened clay in its place this is going to take me a long time i'm not going to do this on the tutorial or for the tutorial for the video i'm going to go away i'm going to completely rip up the grass and i will that that's pretty much it there's nothing else to add so, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to rip up all the grass, I'm going to place lime hardened clay in it, I'm going to get rid of all the numbers, and then I'll be back to show you what this area looks like once it's all been done. And that'll be the end of the video, because that will be the tutorial over. This is a really awesome area, let's see if we can make it just a bit better. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, I have completely ripped up the grass and I have replaced it with lime hardened clay. It's up to you whether you make this change yourself. It takes a really long time to do and you might find that you're not all that bothered, but I think it makes it look a lot better better and something that i've also done is i have revamped the inside of mickey ever so slightly so 
I've just basically just replaced the floor and added a little bit of light, but it does make quite a difference. And of course, we are still able to enter and leave via the slide, which for some reason I'm, I'm endlessly amused with. I, I don't know why. But guys, all of that doesn't require any sort of tutorial. I've just replaced the floor. Hopefully, you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please do remember to like the video. That'd really help me out. I'm shooting for a thousand likes. I'm hoping that maybe we could reach that. I don't know. You'll have to, you'll have to see yourself. Um, if you did enjoy the video, please do remember to like. But if you enjoy the content, subscribe to the channel. You probably won't regret it. We do all sorts of stuff around here. We do cartoon related builds, survival, modern, everything. If you subscribe, click the little bell and please do comment down below and let me know what else you would like to see in the future, especially if it's a cartoon related build. I've got loads of ideas myself, but it's also great if you guys can contribute as well. I'd love to see what's cooking in your head. By the way, also, if you do want to check out all of my other content, check out the card system in the description below. I build loads of stuff. This is kind of like the cartoon corner of my world. I've built loads of cartoon houses now, but I'm hoping to expand and expand and expand until eventually I have so, so many cartoon builds that I've run off of the edge of the world. I also do all sorts of other stuff. I do modern houses, survival houses, I do suburban, I do city builds, I do tree houses, I do, I do all sorts of stuff. Basically, check out the card system in the description below or the channel in general, you won't regret it. Thank you so much for watching guys, I hope we couldn't reach those 1k likes, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.